Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian here with another fun craft geared for ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. Let's get started on this month's project. And the material supply kits for this month's canvas projects are coming in a quart sandwich bag because the canvas size is a little bit smaller. So inside the kits, we are providing two four by four canvases um, that have the markings on them to help guide when you are doing your dot painting. It's a little harder to see on the black canvas there, but it is there. Um, additionally, we have a six paint pot set here for you, um, black, and this color actually isn't a white. Um, it's more of a color changing, almost top coat, although I did use it on my example and on the black canvas. It really pops. It's kind of a fun color. You have a silver and a gold and then a red and a blue. If you have other paints, you can mix colors with what we've given you here, or if you've got other paints at home or from previous crafts, you can definitely use those as well. Additionally, you are getting a um, embossing stylus. These we picked up at the Dollar Tree, just a real simple um, dotting tool. There are a ton of other tools out there that you can use, um, even some things you'll find around the house, which we'll talk about in the crafting. And the final piece in our kits this month is one of our wonderful Pflugerville Public Library pencils um, that is actually color changing. So as you hold it, the pencil itself will start to turn green. Uh, but we're gonna use the eraser as a dotting tool for this project. And then once you're all done, you can clean it up and just have a great library pencil. Uh, the next thing in order to get ready for our craft, I'm gonna go ahead and put something down to protect the workspace from paint and we will get started on this dot painting canvas project. Okay, so I've got my workspace protected. I've got my supplies out, the embossing tool, the pencil, one of my canvas, as well as the paints. Some supplies that you might like to have around if you've got them. Um, definitely a paper towel or tissue or something to wipe off your tools in between paint colors. Um, as well as some um, scrap paper or something if you'd like to test out some designs or how the tools are making their marks before you start on your canvas, um, as well as if you've taken some of our other crafts, you may have some extra paintbrushes laying around, um, different tools that you can use to as dotting tools um, if you don't have like the standard dotting tools which look a lot like these embossing tools but they have a range of sizes of the balls on the end some to quite large um, things like paint brushes that we have and um, the eraser we're using on the pen uh, bobby pins or nails uh, and even a q-tip although with the cotton of that it would be probably bottom of my particular list and something one of our crafters suggested to me just today actually um, was a great idea and I gave it a little bit of a try and I think this is awesome I just want to share it with you thanks to Nola for letting us know if you've got some kind of drill bits around um, something like this could give you some really fun dot shapes as you do like we've got some really flat lines um, the Phillips head makes a little bit more of a square shape or a star so just some things that you've got around uh, as I mentioned, we've got these canvases that are pre-marked to give you a guide for doing your dots. And um, they were a extreme clearance item from last year that I've had around and just been waiting and ready for us to do this particular project as a canvas project. Um, so they are four by four. The back of the pack packaging I did want to share um, has a couple of handy tips for doing this type of painting. So using the pre-printed design as a starting point um, and then working your way from the center towards the outside. That way, if you decide to go back, you're not accidentally um, messing up any dots that you've placed farther out. Um, also changing the colors between rings so that it will add more visual interest to the design and make those rings pop. Also, in addition to changing the color, they suggest changing the size of dots with each new ring, alternating uh, smaller and larger dots to create a dynamic design. And the fourth here is mentioning this doing 
smaller dots around a larger dot or doing a scallop shape where you kind of do one color all the way along the outside as it works through. So I just thought those were some really cool details from the packaging um, to mention to you before we go ahead and get started. So for pretty much the rest of this tutorial video, I really just wanna show you how the dotting tools that we have or suggested um, will make designs and then kind of leave you to the creativity of adding your design to your actual canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with some black. Set my canvas on the upside here so that I don't get any paint on it as I get a little bit of paint onto my thumb. And so I'm really just dipping this tool into the paint, kind of mixing it around to make sure I've got a pretty good glob of paint there on the end. And rather than pushing the tool itself all straight down onto the paper and kind of moving it around, that doesn't give me a very good circle. I'm just gonna really get the paint on there without the tool and pull the tool right back. And that gives me, you can see, very much more of if not a perfect circle, at least something in approximation. And I can continue dotting with the same tool and the same paint for a little while, but as you will see, those dots continue to get smaller as I work the majority of the paint off the end of my dotting tool. So something like that would be kind of cool to do if you want that stair step down. Let's do another color here. And the other side of the tool is a much smaller dotter. So you're really gonna start, I might get that size. Yeah, about that size. With a much smaller dot to begin with and then go down to even smaller, more minuscule type dots there. One of the cool things with the pencil, um, if you really wanted to, you could use something to kind of sculpt the eraser into a more rounded, um, kind of domed shape to make your dots. Uh, we also, you can really just use the eraser itself. So same principle, I'm not going to put the pencil all the way down to the paper, just enough to make that dot. And you can kind of see that there's a bit of extra paint in the middle there which really does just kind of leave a cool um, design, I felt, once it dried. You can see with the pencil, you definitely are gonna wanna add paint almost immediately. So I got two pretty solid ones out, but then after that, I started having some spots where it didn't quite um, fill in. So for this one, you'd think it would be a rather large dot because of the size of the end of the paintbrush here. However, the point of the paintbrush is really what is key. So these two paintbrushes are really gonna make about the same size dot. So a fairly small one there. But I can use this to show you how, let's come over here where you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna lay that down and then I'm gonna just drag my brush along and I can even make kind of a more elongated, that might be a design that you'd like. As I mentioned, I tested out some of the drill bits. So for that, let's do, uh, let's do blue. Makes blue and red make my favorite purple. So I've got some paint on there. If I wanted to do more of a straight line on something, just clean that off. And of course that paint didn't come off completely, so I'll probably need to use a little bit of something else to get that off. And let's try a Phillips head. So you see there the difference in shapes with those, a little bit more of a square than kind of a circle with some of the other tools that we were using, but still really cool and it's something that you can use on your design. 
So in the slide for this event, you saw my little example here. Um, there are those dots I use to kind of give it a little bit of movement as well as a larger dot with some smaller around it. The only thing I didn't do on mine was a scalloped, which I think I, could, I might add around the extra outside, um, as well as multiple layers. So once my dots in the middle had completely dried, I went back and added another color on top, and I really thought that was cool. Um, I think I would even go a slightly bigger dot on the gold and then another smaller, so go to three layers. Um, if I had thought about it, I did test it a little bit on this one here. It's really hard to tell because the tiny, the blue dot in the middle is just the tiniest. Um, but that is dot painting. Um, mandalas are amazing and such a really cool thing. If you have the time, you can take a look around uh, YouTube. There are some folks who are really talented who are out there with some other tutorial videos and different techniques that you could give a try. We hope that you enjoy this Canvas Projects and we look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching.